By the way, what makes your email subscribers open your email lists? Is it your email content? Is it your product or service that you're promoting? Or is it the subject line? So number one, is it the email content? Number two, is it your product or service? Or number three, is it the subject line? Put a comment down below. Just type in number one, two, or three. Let me know which number you think it is. Hey, my name's Lamar Scholl. I'm from Having Success Online. Welcome to this video and thank you for stopping by. So in this video, I'm going to show you what you need to do to get more opens with your email list. So I'm going to show you an Aweber today, but if you got Sunlane, Active Campaign, all these, I don't know about MailChimp, but get responsible, we'll definitely do it. You can do these things called split tests. And by the way, the answer to my question that I answered, you know, asked at the beginning, the opening of this video, is if I got the number right, number three, your subject line. It's definitely your subject line. Because no matter how good your content is, no matter how good your coaching, your training, your affiliate product that you're promoting, your home that you're selling as a realtor is, it doesn't matter. Even if you have a product that shows somebody to tell, shows them exactly how to get the winning lottery ticket, they're not gonna see that information until they get <laughs> open your email and the way they're going to open that email their email is looking at your subject line you've got to make your subject lines interesting kind of you got to make them like raise a question or something like that right now how do you know what subject lines work and which ones don't well that's what i'm going to show you today you can do this with your autoresponder so i like i said before i'm going to show you in aweber how easily this is to do by the way if you do not have an autoresponder yet and if you want to get an autoresponder that's definitely made for newbies for beginners aweber's a really really good one to go with get response is as well but i've got a playlist on youtube where i take you from starting your a Weber account to getting you cranking out those emails in no time. By the way, I've also got some free training and I can send you that link. It's all free. I'm not promoting anything in there or nothing. So I should train you on A Weber to get you from you know, stuck where you probably are right now to get you going and really pumping out those emails. So if you want that link, all you have to do is just comment down below in this video and let me know. Hey, Lamar, can I have the AWeber link, the free training AWeber link? And I will be glad to get that link to you as well. All right. So what I'm going to do now is take you over to my AWeber screen. Okay. So the first thing about the um, Aweber this is the subject lines like I said if you know you got to write good subject lines that will help get those opens because if the subject line doesn't get them like I said the content doesn't matter your offer doesn't matter you got to do things one at a time right so the job of the subject line is to get someone to open the email now once they open that email you want them to now you got to work on different copy there, right? So you got in, when you're in the body of your email, you got to think about that. All right, now they open. How do I get them to do what next, right? Next important thing is to click on that val also valuable link. Okay, so let's talk about subject lines. All right, how do we know what's working and what's not? Well, within Aweber, you can do this thing called split testing. Okay, so what you do is split test the subject line you're not changing the body of the email for instance let's go over here and i'm going to go into drafts and i've got two emails here the the second well let's do the first one the first one is is your head exploding with information right then what i did i created this email it's right here okay there's the body of the email now, when I was done with this email, I created a copy. So I clicked on this little copy link. And then all I did with this email, 
I just changed the title, Information Overload. The body of the email is exactly the same. Not one change, nothing. So again, when I got done with this email, I made a copy and just changed the subject line to Information Overload. Now what I'm gonna do is this thing called an A-B split test. Whenever you are split testing, whether it's like I'm going to show you with Aweber today or anything, landing pages, you only want to change one thing and one thing only because a split test is going to show you which one did better. So I did a split test yesterday and I'm going to talk about the results of that here. And then you and I, we're going to sit there and go step by step and show you how to set up a split test. So I'm um, just a little review, right? So we're gonna create our email like we always do. Here's my you know, subject line for the original email, right? Is your head exploding with information? I made simply made a copy by clicking on this link, just change the subject line. Now what I wanna do is come up under messages and where it says split test, this is where we're gonna create our split test. But before we do, I wanna show you the one I did yesterday. So. I did exactly what I showed you. This was my original email right here, right? This may make you a little giddy. And then when I was done with the email, I made a copy of it. And all I did is change the headline to getting a little giddy over this. Now, for me, what I did is I've tried to figure out which one of these two emails are gonna do better, right? And I chose this top one here, right? Which I was wrong because you can see that email B, right? That's why they call it A, B split test. Email B almost, oh yeah, did get twice, more than twice as many opens, right? Neither one got clicks, but I got more than twice as many people open this email because of this subject line. So this is exactly what you're gonna find out from this split test. Now, here's, it's very easy to set up. So we already have our two emails done. So I'm gonna come up here and create, hit the cr green create button. Now, <clears throat> I only have, you can test three different emails, but for my little brain, it's too complicated. So I wanna come, oh, before I, yeah, I gotta, here, let me back out of here because I wanna save some, I'm going to show you why. I'm going to just, I just want to copy this text right here. Sorry about that for the confusion. I just want to copy this text. I'm going to show you. So I'm picking a mail, sorry, a email, and I just copied this title here because that's what I'm going to use to name the split test. So let's go in and click on the create button again. So see where it says name your split test? What I'm going to do is simply just paste that in there. I couldn't remember the exact name. So I want, Oops, sorry about that. There we go. So I named my split test the email A. That's my control email. That's the email I think is going to do better. That's just for me. Like, But the ultimate goal out of this is you're trying to find out which one of those subject lines will you know are going to do better and if you keep doing this you're going to start maybe you know you'll start seeing patterns and what you should do right and the only way you're going to know which one does better is when you actually send these out and that's what we're going to do right now okay so we named our split test so now where is the split test what emails am i going to use so i'm just going to click on this drop down here right so i've got all these choices here right i can go to my active subscribers but I'm gonna look for my broadcast list right here. And this is called Lamar's broadcast list, right? That I have set up. So I'm setting this up. Now, this section down here, right? Most of the time, what you wanna do, I'm gonna back up a second. You wanna select active subscribers. Like I have different segments and I've done videos, Aweber videos showing you exactly how to do this. And by the way, I, if you want my Aweber, free training just send me put it in the comment and let me know hey lamar can you send me your a weber free training and i explain how to do segmenting in there but again i'm just selecting my this is actually a segment here my broadcast segment now which is i don't know 2000 people in there or something like that so I don't want to test between three different emails i only want to test between two so i'm going to take this 
slider here and just drag her all the way over to the right. Now, whenever you do a split test, you always want to make it even. 50-50, right? So that part's good. So we've got our split test named. Where, you know, what list or segment are we going to use to send out our emails to, right? So we got that and we did our 50-50 split. And I'm going to hit save. Now, the next thing we have to do See, so this is the split test created right here, but we don't have our emails in there yet. And that's what we're gonna do in this next step. Okay, now we have our two emails here, right? So I'm just doing a little review. Is your head exploding with information and information overload? So this is our test, right? So we set all that up. Now we have to schedule this to go out right so i'm going to come over here and click on the schedule button for a we have to schedule both these so you can look right here and right now who's going to receive this message and aweber is showing you right here this is coming from the split test right so and it's a so this is all good now i'm going to just select a time when i want this sent out so this is going to be over here and I'm just going to do 8.30, which is in about a half hour from now. So I'm just going to hit apply. And for me, all this stuff here, don't worry about all this. This is what I normally do when I explain this in other videos that I've done. But the setup that I'm showing you right now is standard with every single email, whether you do a split test or not. These are just my setup that I do every single day. So the point here is I'm making sure that I'm scheduling my A email to go out. We're gonna go back and do our B, right? So schedule, and you wanna schedule the same time, right? Remember in a split test, you only wanna change one thing, and that one thing is our subject lines right here. So I'm gonna to go to email B and schedule that one. And you, you see it's coming from the same split test, B. When should this be sent? Same time as our last email. So this is Monday. And like I said, we sent the last one out at 8.30. So this one shall go out at 8.30 as well. So I'm gonna hit apply. And for me, I'm done. I'm just gonna schedule. Now, both my emails have been scheduled. This one just has a little automation. Like I said, if you wanna know how to do this cool stuff, I've done AWeber, it's free training. Just put a comment down below this video if you want to get that link. I'll be glad to send it to you. I'm not promoting anything in there. It's all, it's good training. If you don't want to take do that, you can go over to my YouTube channel and I've created an AWeber list where I put tons of AWeber videos over there for you. So now our split test is ready and good to go. All right, so the other thing I want to show you, so we're under the broadcast section. I'm going to come over here to schedule. So you can see both of our emails are right here, scheduled to go out today, right here. March 1st at 8.30 a.m. They're both set up the same. So remember these email bodies, right? The copy is exactly the same. The only thing I change for the split test are the titles. So we just set up a, a, a split test in Aweber. So if you have a different autoresponder, you'll do the same idea, but you know, the approach to get there, right? Because the autoresponder is different, will be totally different. So if you want to check out AWeber, I've got a 14-day free trial down below. I've got plenty, like I said, the playlist on YouTube. I've got free training on my website. It's If you want that, let me know. Um, whether you have AWeber or not through me, it doesn't matter. I just want to help as many people as I possibly can. Oh, by the way, if you got some value from this video, subscribe to my channel. All right, thank you. I'll see you on the next one.